laser light differs from what we think of as regular light, for example the sun or a light bulb, in three significant ways. First off, it's monochromatic, which means that lasers emit only one wavelength or color. It's also coherent, which means that the photons leaving the laser emitter are all traveling in phase with one another. Finally, the light is very directional. Most of us have seen laser pointers, which clearly demonstrate the single color and focused nature of laser light, but that coherence part is a little bit more difficult to comprehend. The in-phase nature of laser light is due to photons being emitted by the lasing material. These, in turn, strike and release other photons in the material, which then vibrate at the same frequency and travel in the same direction as the first ones. The result is coherent light. These three factors result in a thin beam of light from the laser pointer, which is able to travel quite a distance, some say up to a thousand meters or more. A laser pointer uses a semiconductor laser diode, which is activated by an electronic circuit called a driver. The driver, in turn, is powered by batteries. What's interesting about this simple device is that the brightness of the laser can be changed by varying the battery voltage. As we know, audio is a varying voltage representing sound waves. If there were some way of injecting audio into the power supply of a laser pointer, well, it stands to reason that one could modulate the laser beam with music or speech. This beam, in turn, could be sent some distance away to a photocell. The photocell would convert the varying levels of light into varying levels of electricity. That electricity, finally, would be sent to an audio amplifier where it would be converted back into sound. This is what amateur radio operators have been experimenting with for years. The concept was first reported in QST magazine in 1990. The article, entitled A Laser Communications Primer, Part 1, outlined the principles of laser modulated communication. Part 2 of the series gave instructions for building a one-way laser communications device using simple audio amplifiers and other electronic parts. And of course, a laser pointer. Contests soon started among the hams to see who could transmit the farthest. In some experiments, contact was made as far as a few kilometers away. While laser modulation appears to some to be a complex process, a little understanding of electronics can put a theory into practice with amazing results.